This is a um, focus paddock study that I've run for the past 14 years. I don't have the 2014 number on there, but what I've done is I was GRDC funded with the Ag Department and it was like a systems research project and we set up these 30 focus paddocks to go and monitor what growers are doing with their weed seeds, with their weeds. And we got them to nominate a really dirty ryegrass paddock and then we just went and counted the weeds for them. Actually, we gave them a quadrat at first and uh, none of them did the counts. <laughs> so we went and counted them for them. And uh, every August we go out to the field, we count ryegrass uh, in the field, see how many are surviving in crop to, to see how they're going with their weed management. So that is surviving ryegrass in August, September in our fields. The plus HWSC, the plus harvest weed seed control is the bottom line there. So these guys are narrow windrow burning roughly every second year. And they're doing a lot of other things, crop topping, crop rotation, herbicide rotation, all of those things, they're very aggressive. The other group are pretty good too. You know, these are guys that turned up to a resistant weeds workshop in 2000 and nominated a paddock. They wanted to do something, but they've been a bit more herbicide focused and they've only used harvest weed seed control, windrow burning once in every 10 years, but they are doing quite a bit as well. And the point being is that the top group there, they've had, a, it's been successful. They've got their numbers down from 180 to about 10, but they're holding level at 10. And that's the problem. And it's not a story of resistance, it's not really resistance driving that, it's just the fact that trofluralin doesn't give 100% control, and these guys have been heavily trofluralin reliant. Now, have any growers in the audience here eradicated ryegrass with just herbicides? Oh, I don't get many hands up when I ask that question, we just haven't, because we can hold them level at a low level, but we can't eradicate them to zero. But adding something like harvest weed seed control to a system that is just about working just does that and it makes it work. So that's 30 focus paddocks, cropping focus, 90% crop, both lines are the same level of crop. They're all good growers, the difference being harvest weed seed control every second year.